Well, my lads and lasses, now this podcast is my personal request because this person is one of my favourite people, I would say, right now on TV and in the public eye. We have Jay Howard. Is that right? Yeah. Jay Howard from Married at First Sight in the building. Woo! Uh, honestly, I'm Hello. really excited <laughs> for this. Like, one of the shows I've been obsessed with, and I think everyone has, this year has been Married at First Sight. Yeah. And I, and for you, the reason why, like, I was like, I need I in here. Mm. First of all, you're Northern. Second, you seem like you're cut from a similar cloth for me. That's not offensive, by the way. That's actually, no, I, that's a good I thing. agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, also, I think the story that you've had on Married at First Sight, mm. in general, is, like, mental. Mental, it's been a roller coaster for yeah. you, and I just think you're all around a top fucking bird. Oh, thanks. So, so welcome to my podcast. Ooh, I love it. And remember, what's a mask here stays between us. Okay, so don't go telling everyone. No, it's here in this yeah, room, exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. What I want to know is we'll get to the married at first sight stuff because that is like, yeah, peak at the minute, of yeah, course. Yeah. But when people watch TV shows, they just see. You there, mm. at the current place, current time, going through what you're going through. Yeah. Nobody ever really knows the history about you or what happened when you were younger, growing up and things mm. like that. And sometimes I find that so interesting to people that I'm seeing on TV. Yeah. So for you, what I want to know is, tell me about you growing up, what life was like, mm. like northern life, it's very different to the life down here, yeah. isn't it, down south. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you did for a living, what growing up was like, sisters, but anything like that. Tell us your background. So I only have a small family, so literally it's just my mum and my sister. Yeah. Uh, my dad left when we were about seven. Right. Uh, when I was about seven, Kate was a bit younger. Yeah. Um, and we don't we don't speak. And what's the age difference between you and your sister? Four years. Right. So Katie were a little bit younger than me when that happened. Yeah. Um, but we just we just don't speak. It was just one it's of just them happened. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got up, left, ended up getting a new family. You know, and that's right. Okay. That's about it. Um, my mum was quite happy at the time because she was the one that kicked him out. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just literally. Katie and my mum. Yeah. Um, my mum worked really hard, you know, to try and keep food on course, table yeah, for yeah, me, course, single yeah. mum. Yeah. Um, and she was, my mum's always been really good with us, mm, like mm. bringing us up on our own. Of yeah. Course, so she yeah. she had sacrificed everything for mm-hmm. me and Katie, mm-hmm. um, which is amazing in itself. But with my arm especially, mm-hmm. like she. She struggled at first because it were they didn't know the way that I was born until I was actually of course, yeah. born. Yeah. Um Because how old were you when it all changed? For so were you born like would, I was did, born like that, yeah. Born like that, yeah. yeah. So my mum my mum and dad didn't have a clue when I was born. I was the first as well. So you're talking like thirty two years ago so now, did, it was yeah. so unheard of. Yeah. Um and they just said to her she's lost her arm along the way. And my mum was like, What? What do you mean? Yeah. No yeah. help, no nothing. She was just like, right, you gotta get up, get on with it, kind of thing. So she did get postnatal depression. Oh well, yeah, understandable. Her, yeah. Um, but it was like at the time that people, I don't know. She said people like changed around me, and mm. they they were like it wouldn't come back. And all help. them years ago as well, things were so different. Yeah. Like not like now. Like everything is. It's amazing now because the world accepts anything. Yeah. Now. And it's great, like you can be who you want to mm. be. But back then, I bet the times were so different. People were proper narrow minded, like. Yeah. And she said that she found it out because people were like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And my mum's like, she's not passed away. Well, no, of course she's not, just yeah. lost an arm, like yeah. she's fine. Yeah. Um, so then that gave my mum like the incentive to like, she can do everything. She will be able to do everything. Course, do you know yeah. what I mean? So she's always pushed me as if to say, like, you don't sit there and wallow in self-pity. You get up get and you crack, crack on. on yeah. yeah, Get up, do it again if you can't do it. Love do you that. Know? So that's the way that I've been brought up. And I won't be the same person we are. Because I remember watching this on Married at First Sight yeah. as well. And what I loved about you is you never took yourself too seriously. No. And, like, all do. your mates were having a laugh around yeah. you. And you weren't taking, like, everything, you know. You weren't, you weren't like, worried about it all. And mm. you were just taking the piss out yourself. And that's what I was like. 
she is one of my <laughs> girls yeah. and that is so good that you take your life like that as well mm. like you can still do everything yeah everything as like, much as i can I'm as like, much as you can yeah. of course so go back to like working and stuff like that like growing up like what yeah. was it like growing up what was it like obviously getting work and yeah. things like that yes. did anything change for you so with school yeah and things in particular like kids can be mean you know, it's inevitable. It's gonna yeah, happen. It's yeah, something yeah. that you don't see every day, especially. I feel like back you. Then. I feel like you would have been quite, quite light. In I school. were. Yeah, I were all right. Like my mum yeah. used to make me wear my prosthetic constantly. She'd be like, right, you, you wear it, and you, you just don't, don't take it off. Really? Yeah. And as soon as she'd be off, I'd be like, take it off. <laughs> see you later. You know, it used to do me head in. It used to. It used to really wind me up. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Oh, like, it's too heavy. Be free. I can't do anything with it. Just get rid of it. Um, oh. So yeah, Love she that. she used to get wound up with me doing that when I was a kid. But, um, but yeah, so, I, you know, you get the odd name calling. Yeah, um, kids can yeah, be. Yeah, but the thing is, it's going to happen. Like, it's not just me. Everybody gets that when you're growing up. Mm-hmm. Everybody mm-hmm. gets a something. little bit bullied. And, yeah, there's you something. Know, there's something. Mm. You're not perfect. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had a monobrow. <laughs> I had a monobrow in school. And everyone used to call me for this monobrow. So, you know what I did? I went home and I got the shave and I shaved it. And did I shaved you? half the brow off along with it. And I, I was quite a hairy kid, quite a hairy kid. Like, my dad's Iranian, I'm from a Persian background. Yeah. I had a hairy back. I had, you know, tights in school? Yeah. I always had hairs popping out the tights. Did you? Yeah. So, from being a young age, like, I used to, I, there was, obviously, it's a completely different scenario, mm. but I used to get a lot of name calls yeah. when I was younger. Like, I came from a Middle Eastern family. Mm. So, you can imagine the stuff I used to yeah. get called. Yeah. And my dad owned kebab shops. Oh, so, <laughs> Be a northern as well, you know yourself. Like, it's oh, yeah, brutal, brutal, down there. savage, brutal, they're savage. All, yeah, they're all so, savage. Growing up, yeah, do you not find that like the more brutal that you are, especially with your friends, mm-hmm. it means that you love each other more? Oh, absolutely. So, like, if if you were going back and forth with the banter, yeah, and you were going in on each other, yeah. it's like, right, they, they we, we love take, each other. Do you know northerners what I mean? can take banter? Oh, yeah, but and if you say that to a southerner, oh, they're like, you're, but yeah, you're, you're offensive, no. And then I go, well, you're sensitive. Yeah. Like, What's up with you? I'm only, I'm only messing. I'm only messing, but I don't get it. Yeah. But job-wise, so talk us about through work, what you're doing for a job, like before, obviously, my yeah. first sight as well. So I did work at a used car warranty firm. Really? Yeah, for eight years. I was managing um, a team there, but Brilliant. I was um, mainly for like car dealerships up and down the country, mm. looking after, like as account manager, so looking after them. Great, um, fam. Loved it. Loved it. I smashed it. You know, I've just yeah, chatted got to the gift of the gob. Yeah, gift, what gift, gift of the gob. gob yeah. yeah. So I was just like sat there, you know, talking to dealerships up and down the country for years. Just you know. So you had it. quite like obviously like and work wise, mm. just normal life. Normal life. Normal Nine to five, Monday to Friday. Yeah. Go to the pub at weekends. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. Just, the typical. Yeah. So at what point did you obviously start getting into the boys and having mm. relationships and like partners? When did that yeah. come about? And have you been in love before? I have been in love before, yeah. Right. Um, but, so, uh, my ex-partner before mm-hmm. maths, mm-hmm. I knew him for about, I'd say it's been about nine years in total. Were you um, with him for nine years? No, I oh, was, we knew each other for right. like a lot, well, knew each other for a long time because my best friend, her fella is his best friend. So basically, same friendship group. If yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, and... We ended up st- like being together for about three and a bit years. Right. Um, and I actually thought that you were like the love of my life. As we do. Yeah. But obviously that didn't work out. No. So, yeah, it would just turn out to be like more of a friendship than anything. Just and kind of fizzled friends. out. No. Not mates now, no. Okay, okay. Because, yeah. Yeah, all right. Not yeah, great. Fine, yeah. <laughs> won't go there, won't go there, won't go there. Um, but, yeah, so he was like my proper... First love, would you say? Well, I wouldn't say first love, no. Like, my first ever love were, like, when I were at school. Mm. Um, you know, like like you do, 16-year-old. Well, 16 this year is old. what they say. You get your first love. Yeah. You get your, your heart breaks, mm. your second. Mm. And then the third... Is usually... Is usually the one. Yeah, yeah. Now, the third hasn't come yet, so don't worry. <laughs> it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But that's usually how it goes. Yeah. So would you say he was your second? Was that the heartbreak? I would, yeah, I would say that yeah. he was. Yeah, that he was my second kind yeah. of thing. But I put it to bed, and yeah. I, you know, I, it's that part of my life has done. It's got now. yeah, but it's good because obviously it learns you so many things as well. And yeah. Then obviously, since that ended, mm. how long ago was that? Would you say compared to when you started maths? When I started maths, well, how long you'd been single? Uh, it 
it weren't it were about six months maybe right. but in my head from that previous relationship i left way before that you always check out yeah i checked out that. way before yeah so, um and then i applied for maths right this is what i'm excited about so <laughs> <laughs> I remember, when maths comes around, I see them, the DM and like everyone, mm. and they don't tell you what it is, yeah. do they? No. They always say, oh, would you like to be on the show? Yeah. And, and they try yeah, and yeah. hide it. And loads of people get all these messages and stuff. So for you, how did it come about? Did they DM you like they have with everyone or did you apply? I applied, but right. originally I did get a little cheeky message, DM. but yeah. I thought that it was somebody scamming me. Mm. And I was like, at work. And yeah. I'm like, someone's messaged me and they're saying that it's from maths. I went, nah, that's not real. Everyone thought this. Yeah, day, I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, that's not real anyway. So I ignored her poppy for like two weeks. Right. Like, I was like, I'm not talking to you. You, you send yeah. me under. Yeah, it feel, um, yeah, feels yeah. like it's not a real account. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, oh, we'd really like to talk to you. Do you want to? Do you want to just apply? Anyway, I just thought, fuck it, one day. I was mm. like, might as well. I'll Actually, just do it for crack. Lose, yeah. They're, yeah, they're not going to take me anyway, so I might as well just fucking mm. see how it goes. Yeah. That were it then, every day after that. How much you? Yeah, literally, like, FaceTime uh, meetings, like, you know, Zoom so calls. from that moment, they must have just seen you or, or spoke to you and thought, we need her. Yeah. So what is how what did they do? Did you DM them back then? How did it all... No, like... I didn't DM her back. I just said, like... Yeah. I'll apply for, I'm it. Up for it. Just yeah, and just then, keep an eye out. And then that was it. Yeah. Um. So what is the process then? So the the hounding you because people love to know. Yeah. I get asked all the time. How do you get on the show? How do you get on the show? Yeah. People love these yeah. stories. Yeah. So from the moment they've messaged, they've, mm. you've replied and whatever, then what happens? Do you go and meet them face to face? No. So they somebody ends up ringing you. Um. Just have a quick five minute chat yeah, or whatever. Chat, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. like yeah, research chat. So yeah, it's yeah. like. Not much, but just a little bit more of a background yeah. about you from your video. Why is it that you want to do this? And, you know, X, Y, and Z. Um, so you have that. They said, right, we're going to fill you. You're going to send you some forms out now. And it's very in-depth, like... So what, straight away, that's your forms? So you're you, about to go on? So you, like, do all the forms Did you everything. know at this point you are about to go on? Did you no, think in your no. head, I've, I've got I this? I thought this was just, like, part of still the process because yeah. they don't... You're not... You're not on the show until they find you a match, which right. is way further down the line. Right. Yeah. So if your match pulls out, so at the they're last just minute, getting you're like, not on it. So they're just getting so many applications. Yeah. So then they can find the match. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Didn't know this. Yeah. So basically, they they get the cast members, they get who they want to have, yeah. if you will, and then obviously you go through all the the process the process of what your type is. You know, sexuality, ethnicity, you know, like, all proper in Is it really specific as well? Very specific. Right. So it's like, what traits do you like? Uh, your morals, do you know, like... So all the person... I just thought, oh, just do a quick five-minute personality yeah, exactly. test. Yeah, yeah, what's your type? Yeah, yeah, tall, dark, handsome. Yeah, literally. <laughs> thought it was just going to be, like, a little bit brief. Yeah. No, it's very, very complex. Wow. Yeah. So what made you want to be like right I'm gonna go on married at first sight mm. because we know what it's all about now yeah so did you obviously you would have went on mm. to want to find love yeah of like course is I that did. what you really wanted yeah, yeah. as well that is what what I wanted oh but, yeah got it really now isn't it yeah, so, yeah, but, but, yeah. yeah. So, so talk us through this process then because it's an in-depth one isn't yeah, it yeah very in-depth and what so. do you need to do to get this to get the the sort of form signed like mm. what they're asking what you have to do so the the forms are basically like everything on what you would want yeah. in a man yeah uh, you know or what, a do you woman or I mean, or what do you put what do you put so like aesthetically i said that my type on paper is a guy that looks like he works outside but yeah. scrubs up trademan. really well yeah trademan yeah. so I, like i got weak at knees yeah trademan, I'm like, yeah oh, you yeah. want the whole you know I mean? shebang where yeah, the, yeah 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 don't um, blame you don't blame me yeah. this is my type Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got a barber. Oh, yeah. Still a trade. <laughs> Still a trade. <laughs> Just doesn't work up the up, up the scaffold. <laughs> yeah, but that's like what I would say my type on paper is. Yeah. However, I know what you are. You want rough and ready. Yeah, rough yeah, and ready. Yeah, yeah. Somebody that can pick you up. Do you know, like chat. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a bit like that. Well, I'm a bit chubby, it. but it's my roots, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then they go into detail about trying to think now like because you've got to go for like 
full on STI tests and all that stuff. Oh it, yeah. Did anyone's STI come back positive? No, well, you're not allowed on show if it is. <gasps> really? That's how that's how like in depth it is. Yeah, it's not the case of you. Oh, you God, pissing if a that was and... me back in my single years, I would have thought, <laughs> "Fuck, I'm fucked." Yeah, aren't I? Because <laughs> that ain't coming back. That ain't coming back oh, negative. That's why I was like, right, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> Me other half is okay. So yeah, I'm exactly. not getting a cold down yeah, there. Yeah, it's no good, way. yeah. <laughs> that is mad. So you go through STI checks. Mm. What about like obviously things to do with mental health now? Yeah, so you speak to a psych- psych- yeah, you speak to psychiatrists yeah, yeah, like we multiple have to do all times. That. Yeah. Um just to see if you're stable to yeah. do the show in the first place. It's mental because I've said this before, I think if you're in reality TV, you're not stable. No. We're all a bit cuckoo. Yeah. And especially if you're marrying somebody off the street that someone <laughs> has married. got for you. You've got to be yeah. a little you're bit. You're mentally not all right, out. you know. But I get what they mean. You've got to, like, obviously be able to hold your own. Yeah. Like, see, because I've, this is what I've heard as well, like, now in reality TV, if you've got anything to do mm. with, like, depression tablets or if you've if you've been on the mental health register, yeah. you know they'll completely say no. Mm. And I think that is a really good yeah. thing as well. It is a good thing because we do... It's, try to put you off. Yeah. So their job is like, what would happen in this scenario? Yeah. Yeah. And like they they do go to town on you and they yeah. like say They've got right, to test you, you. Of course, and they say right, well, if you were to put be put in this situation, how would you cope with that? Mm. And I remember talking to um, a psychiatrist who I had Gareth at the time. <gasps> and, Gareth. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Is, is it Scottish man? Yeah. Gareth? He I wrote phone to him for about two hours or something. You know, you know me and Gareth used to have conversations. Really? Cam- conversa- like, he, he, le- he wasn't a psych on Geordie mm. Shaw for a while, but we had him for so many years, and I think he's amazing, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Loved him when I was talking have to you him. Ever, have you ever seen him? He's really sexy. No, I've not really. I've not met him in person. I've just met him all, over Zoom. It makes him even more sexy. that he's oh, good looking, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Wait, I can't well, believe that. Yeah, you, yeah. We're, yeah, we're talking to him. So, I told like, because they go from the beginning of your life. He said, right, I need to start from the beginning. Yeah, you, I bet they would have asked you everything the way about through. like your dad and growing up. Oh, and everything, like, yeah, yeah. everything. And he went, you've been through the fucking wars. Mm. And I was like, I have. Like, but, and he went, but you, you're right. Mm. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. So, he said, I think that you're completely fine. You'll you'll smash it. He said, it's up to you, though. It is really hard and it is intense. Yeah. And at the, at the time, I thought, yeah, he's just saying that just to try yeah. and put me off. Do you know what I mean? But I bet you never had a clue what was no. about to come around that corner. Absolutely not, no. Nah. You think you know what you're getting yourself into. You and do. you've got this image in your head. Mm. You might as well just throw that out the window because it yeah. never works like that. Well, I was just talking to Charlotte before and... We were talking about when we first started Geordie Shaw. Yeah. There was no social media. No. We walked into a TV show not knowing yeah. what the hell was about to happen in our lives. Mm. And, it, and it changed. Yeah. Like Married at First Sight. Like, mm. it just, it happens overnight. Yeah, literally. And very similar to you, like, we filmed Geordie Shaw and it never came on air till months later. Yeah. So when it first started, we never knew what was going to happen. Yeah. We'd walk around just living this normal life. Yeah. And then be like, people are obviously going to recognise us really mm. soon. Yeah. And it happens in an instant, isn't Literally. it? And you don't know what's going no. on. I think that's a scary thing. Mm. Like, it just happens overnight, Literally. doesn't it? Yeah, it's like click a, yeah, click click a finger, the finger. And, it's done, and it's done. So when you've went in there, when it's all first happened, like, what is the first day like? What happens? Because that is, is that fully your wedding day on that yeah. first filming day? Yeah. So, well, everybody's, Everybody's weddings are different days because obviously you can't yeah, yeah, have the same. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Ella and Nathaniel that got married the first, first day. Yeah, so yeah, theirs were on the 27th of February. And that was fucking mental, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then it were me and Luke on the 28th of Feb. Mm. So they ended up, they said to me, like, in my um, suite that they put me in the night before, I was buzzing me. I can't buzzing believe my head all off. this, you know. Yeah, buzzing my head off. I literally went into, like, the, the suite that they put me in and I was, like, thinking, this is my honeymoon suite. Like, yeah. I'm buzzing Getting with married. this. Yeah. So, and it wasn't, they ended up putting us into a different hotel after the wedding night. And I was like, gutted. And I'm like, I want to go back to, I want to go back to where they put me last night. Um, Yeah, so, get up really early in the morning. You've got the full camera crew that come in. Then my bridesmaids and everybody came through. So, you've never had, it's sort of, I'm no. trying to picture, you've no. never had a TV in your face before. No. And you're about to get married yeah. with a TV, yeah. with the camera crew. Yeah. What the fuck? I know. Honestly, it's this fucked. Is mental. It is, and I was just like, 
what's going on? Mm. Like, because there were just people in and out of the room all the time, like, yeah. easy, like, th- about 30 people yeah, just yeah, coming yeah. in and out as you're getting ready yeah, for your wedding, do, yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I mean, the whole yeah. Jordan Shaw crew have seen me, <laughs> seen my vagina more than they've seen the wives, so, yeah. Literally, I was just getting up and walking about, like, I'm not even bothered, <laughs> just, guys, I don't pointless. care. Yeah, I'm like, you've all seen tits, it's fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that were absolutely mental, but we enjoyed it, though, like... My bridesmaid and Katie. Yeah, so they loved your fr- it. obviously who who's your bridesmaids again? So my bridesmaids were the girl who walked me down the aisle, Jane. Yes. Um, who lives in London. Yes, yes. And my other best friend, Jodie. Yeah. She is like I'd say that she's like sister because she's like family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then say, what about your sister? Katie, Katie was yeah, yeah. a bridesmaid as well. So Katie and Jodie walked down together and then Jane walked me. I remember it was so emotional. Yeah. I remember the whole thing. Like Originally, they... I was going to walk on my own and I shit myself at last minute. I said, I can't. No. I can't walk on my own. I said, Jane, you're going to need No, no, to. good job. She was saying, yeah. yeah, you needed someone. Yeah. Especially your knees would have been so weak Literally, with the camera crew. Yeah. Like, fair enough, it's a wedding, but Jesus, yours is getting filmed for the whole nation to watch. Yeah. And I was like, I need to hide my stump in you. Like, you need, you need to. <laughs> Link me so that I can hide it underneath oh, your armpit so we don't gu- see. I remember the girls going, I just I just hope you accept the arm. I remember yeah, they saying to all your yeah. friends. Oh. Kate, Kate got really emotional then. Oh, oh but they're like your sister, as you said, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So when you get married, you know your wedding dress and mm. things like that. Like, because obviously my friend yeah. Nikita, yeah. she was on that. Yeah. And she asked, she actually asked me to be a bridesmaid, but the one oh, that she I was on Jordy oh. Shaw. So for the wedding, do you get like a budget. Yeah. And do you pick your own dress or is it yes. them? Yes. You can pick your own dress. So they give you an allowance. Right. It's not like yeah, much yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. But Isn't it? A couple, a couple it's, it's 1,200 quid. Right, yeah. But that's including your bridesmaids but stuff as well. But you can put more towards it as well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you can put, it, yeah. A, a, you can spend five grand if you want it, mm, but that's coming out of your own, yeah, that's coming out of your yeah. pocket. Um, so yeah, and then they just say, right, go and get your, your wedding dress or whatever it is that you want to wear and then, yeah. And then days. when you tried that wedding dress, were you like, oh my God, I'm about to get fucking married? Like, I was more ex- I was more like, I didn't really think about it yeah. until I got like, because I was buzzing, I was just excited, like beaming course, yeah, because yeah. there was so much going on. You don't really have time to think. You're just in a bubble. Yeah, in a bubble. You? And yeah. then it hit me when I got to the bottom of the aisle and they went, are you ready? I went, no. No. I'm I don't not. think everyone I said, will I, be. I said, I don't, I don't think I can. And they went, <laughs> Jay, are you going? And I was like, I don't want to. And they were was like, you're going to have to. At one point, did you think, nah, nah, I'm not doing it? Or were you like, yeah, I'm here now? I never I never thought no, but I did get like, do you know, like that. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, yeah. like that sick feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it were it weren't great. And then Jane just looked at me and she went, we're going in a minute. She was like, so I've, I'm here. It's all right. I went, was there loads of waiting around in that as yeah. well? Yeah, all Because you know TV yeah. world, people see it like, people see yeah. it in half an hour, 45 minutes of show, but that yeah. would have took so long. Oh yeah, the full day. Yeah. I didn't get to the actual um, altar until about half past four in the afternoon. Really? Yeah. Did you have a couple of drinks or not? Yeah, I was, uh, well, uh, <laughs> like in the morning, I had a couple of Proseccos and stuff. I would have had so, to be half good for this. Yeah, I, need, I needed the, the Dutch courage. I was yeah. like, I need to be on top for me uh, because if I'm not and I'm angsting, yeah, it's not going to end it's well. Not, yeah. So when you're like about to walk down the aisle, obviously you're walking down, Did you, mm. were you looking at his family? No. No, you no. didn't even look one? Didn't look at his family, I didn't even look at my family. I just like, was concentrating on him, yeah. Straight there. Yeah. So you get down the aisle and then he turns around. Well, I'm, what wa- the hell I'm walking down and I'm thinking, right, he's really tall. He's wearing a blue suit. Because originally I said in my head, I was like, I bet you he's wearing a blue suit. I bet you. Really? Yeah. What, you, you, you didn't, didn't know that? No, I didn't know. I didn't have a clue where I went. I've got a feeling he's going to be wearing a blue it. suit. Yeah. And his um, best man, Harry, Yeah. he said, I bet she's a redhead. <gasps> Really, really weird. Did he put that in his application or not? That, that's no. what he wanted? No, no, he just he said he's not bothered about looks. He went just personality. Yeah. Like for me. He said, by I'm God, you really got bothered. that. Yeah. He's got a brilliant one. Well, thank you. So <laughs> you get down the aisle and then you see him. And, yeah. Because I remember watching it. It was an instant thing, wasn't it? Yeah. You did fancy him because I remember you were going. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did fancy him. Yeah. But 
I will admit, like, originally when he turned around, because I said, I don't want pretty boy and I don't want anybody to be in sales because I... He's got the big beard. Yeah, beans, and I said, anybody in sales, I work with him, I know <laughs> what a sales <laughs> boy is. <laughs> Fuck boy. So, no, not thank you. <laughs> but cool. that's like, yeah, so then he turned around and I'm like, oh, he's a pretty boy. Even oh. though I still fancied him. Yeah. And then he opened his mouth and I went, oh, my God, he's an Essex geezer. Oh, don't joke, that's <laughs> what happened to me. As soon as John opened his mouth, I went, Essex boy. Yeah. Like, Whoa. Hello. I went, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move there in a month. <laughs> so it's, it's the accent, isn't it? Yeah. It does bits yeah. to us. And I was like, right, okay, so he's an Essex geezer. And mm-hmm. then we started chatting, obviously. We were having our pictures done and it were it were just a really good day and then our vows were very similar as well. Yeah, Because I was like, I remember being shocked, like, looking at him and I'm like, have you robbed my vows? Like, yeah, no, I remember on? watching that. I was like, what the hell, these yeah. are meant to be. Yeah. So there was really a, weird. Yeah, there was an instant thing. Mm. So on that wedding night, you actually have to go and stay with them as yeah. well, don't you? Yeah. In the bed. Yeah, in the bed. <laughs> what the hell? But we didn't it's really. I know, it's... it's it's so you're married really. now, you're in bed together, like the cameras are gone. Yeah. What the hell do you say to each other? Like, well, is we, it. We were knackered and we were like, right, well, we have to be up in two hours because we have to go and ca- catch a plane to go so on our honeymoon, need... which we didn't know where we were going. So I was like, but then you can't sleep because you're still chatting and stuff. It's 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 just it's just weird. The most bizarre thing. Yeah. Did you have the nookie that night? No, not on the not on the wedding night. No, 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 not on the wedding night. No, no, not on the wedding. Respectful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so waited till like you waited, the third. You I waited. think it was the third day. I, can't, I think it was the third day. But you re- you got on well, didn't you, in the honeymoon yeah. as well? Yeah. Because I remember watching that. I was like, oh my god, like yeah. that was a really nice nice moment yeah. for you. We had a, well. we had a really good honeymoon. So it was all good. Everything mm. was going right, and then. Obviously, let's just get to the juicy bit. So, living together. Yeah. Because we're living together. Mm -hmm. Still going really well. Yeah. Doing your ceremonies. Yeah. All good. All fine. Like, the nation, we were all rooting (laughs) for you. But everyone was rooting for you. Like, you were the top people. Yeah. And obviously, the whole drama happened with him and Jordan. Yeah. And that is just where it all went wrong. I know. What the hell went on? I know. It was just, yeah, it's... Was hard. Yeah, do you know it would, it would the, it would the bit where I felt like I felt like I was being a bit attacked mm. on that particular dinner party that yeah, he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was just it it were hard because I'm getting all these different things that have been said. Of course. And he wasn't there to back himself up. Yeah. Um. And you're loyal to the core. Yeah. Like, you had his back as well, Oh, didn't yeah, you? yeah, 100%. And yeah. I just thought, you've, you've been... So we've had this... What hurt me the most is we had a conversation about it the night before a previous mm. and about the comments that he's made course, and yeah. getting a girl's number and I wouldn't be bothered because he actually genuinely thinks... Because I'm so laid back and placid. So, I'm not yeah, a psycho bitch. Yeah. So... You know, what, you know what's funny, Jay? Because when I was watching that, I'm that girl, right? And this, yeah. I said to Jordan, I went, do you think that of me? He's like, mm. no, I love it that you like that. Yeah. Because I am that girl. Like, yeah. if Jordan goes out, crack on, go and have yeah. fun. Go and have fun. Have the best time. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. It's not that I don't care because mm. I don't love you. Mm. And it's just because I'm chilled. Yeah, chilled and you respect and each other because you, know you trust them. Yeah, and you know there's, there's nothing no wrong with that. No, I know. I know don't there's nothing wrong with it. Don't let anyone like, tell you different but because That's where he that. wanted me to be a bit more, put him in his place because he then he'd say, right, well, if I were to go out on a night out with the lads... And I didn't come home until, you know, a stupid o'clock in the morning. What would you do? And I went, I'd be out till... Well, uh, yeah, or, yeah, or you'd be out together. And, yeah, I'd yeah. be out together. Do you know what I mean? I said, it doesn't matter to me I, if I trust you. Exactly. And I, I'm not going to be sat there in bed texting you and going mad at 3am. Because that's not healthy. Because that's not who I am. Yeah. I'm not And toxic. it's just not healthy anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, obviously, we had that conversation, put it to bed. We understood each other. Yeah, fine. And then... He ends up going the day after and mm. saying the bank robbing comment. Mm. Seeing that, yeah. Which, to me, when I'm sat at the dinner party, I thought, you're taking the piss now. We've just had a conversation after about all it that previous. We've it. Got the closest that we've ever been. And then I've got all the lads telling me that you go and change it to a different analogy, which is still a shit one. And just leave it to bed. Yeah, just, just leave it. So that's why I got upset and I ended up not going back that night and I got up and left. Yeah. Um, yeah, but rightly so, Jay. Yeah, because I thought. So. Yeah, because I thought if you want somebody that is like a bit toxic, mm. and you want someone to argue with you or push healthy. your buttons when it's not needed, yeah, 
I'm not about that. You are the perfect healthy girl. Yeah. Like the healthy girl is being able to just let your boy go out. Yeah. Do we think if you trust him, then why exactly. not? Exactly, then why not? Like girls I mean, that are sitting there texting the boyfriends is because they're insecure because the boyfriends are making them feel like they yeah, have feeling to do that. that. Yeah, feeling like. But like, I am you. Yeah. I am that girl. Yeah. It's just chilled. And John's like, God, you're so chilled. Yeah. Thanks for letting us go out. I'm like, you don't need to thank us. It's Normal. Yeah, I know. It is normal. It's like, normal. Because I'd expect you th- to be like that with exactly. me. Exactly. That's what I say. So, yeah, you treat people the way that you want to be treated at the end of the day. 100%, 100%. And if you don't trust that person, then you shouldn't be with them. It's not the right person. No. Exactly. Maybe that's probably made you look back a bit and thought, well, you probably weren't the best for us anyways, mm. seeing all them kind of things. Yeah, I mean, but I think it's just because he, he's been used to... That in the past. That in the past, yeah. But he's got to realise that's not normal yeah. at all but like you don't tell me off let's see and he mentioned <laughs> something about a wardrobe and I went because it's a fucking wardrobe <laughs> you don't care What's, just I'm laid back I don't give a shit what side of wardrobe it is like I don't it's care fine, it's, yeah. it's not a big deal yeah. it, you know it's it's a wardrobe it's a you bloody need to, wardrobe yeah, you need to chill out so then <laughs> obviously he's had to go and yeah. you left as well didn't you and that was yeah. sort of the end of the road of everything yeah, but do you know what? It were probably the best thing for us because it were like a massive weight being lifted off our shoulders and we just yeah. looked at each other and went, shall we go on holiday? I think we fucking need one. What, you went on holiday together? Yeah, the day no, after. No, you did Yeah, we did, yeah, day after. Oh my God, I never yeah. knew that. So we got kicked out with her packing our stuff and I was like, I'm buzzing me, Rosie's there crying. And I'm like, don't cry. She's helping me pack my stuff. Thomas is like, I don't want you to <laughs> both go. Oh, and I'm it's like, lovely. we're buzzing. We're going on holiday tomorrow. Where I don't know where. We just booked Cyprus. Went for 10 days. Oh my God. Yeah. And then what was that like, being on holiday together? It were, we had a good time. We had was a really good time. Is it the make or break or not? Um... Well, we just enjoyed each other's company. It was just weird because that was the first time that we've been together without yeah, the, cameras the cameras and stuff. Like, was around us, like, yeah. Yeah, you felt like kids that, like, had no parents. Yeah, yeah. literally. Like, right, we've been, like... We're free. Yeah, we're, we've been <laughs> let loose. You know, like, what do we do? Um, but, no, we actually had a really good time. Did you? And it was yeah. all good from then? Yeah, yeah, it were all good. And then it was when I came home. Right. And he came up for a weekend yeah and then and then when he went back down it was just like the communication just it was just not there that is so sad though like how all of a sudden it can just switch yeah how literally so what actually happened between you then so originally it was it always used i like it always used to be me that Mm -hmm. had I'd wake up in the morning, I'd yeah. send him a message, and then yeah. you meet I wouldn't get a reply for hours on end, like, and, yeah, I get it, we're both working, whatever, that's fine, that's not fine. really that bothered. But then, I'd ring him and he'd be like, right, I'm busy, I'll, I'll ring you later. He wouldn't. There was um, just no time. There was just no, no, and I just thought, do you know what, I've been speaking to Ros a hell of a lot more, and she's my mate, and mm-hmm. she's in a different country at the mm-hmm. moment, mm-hmm. like, she's on holiday, yeah. and I'm talking to her a lot more than what I'm talking to you, so I mean, what's co- going on? Yeah. in between work. So one day I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to not message him first and reach out, and I'll see how long it takes him. Yeah. Four days. Four, four days. Four days. And, and then four... that's when I said, yeah. obviously there's no... There's no communication, obviously not bothered. Mm-hmm. Don't give a shit. So it's one of them. And he was like, no, I, I do care. And I was like, well, you clearly don't. So oh I don't really God. know. So then, and then what happened? Did you just stop speaking all of a sudden or? It weren't, I said, listen, obviously it's not working. Yeah. I feel like I'm not getting anything yeah, but from God, you. On you. Like, why should you have to sit and make an effort constantly yeah. when it should yeah. always be? Yeah. A fair thing. Yeah, and to me, like, yeah, it might have been miscommunication of what's happened, but at the same time, it's like, well, why is it always me? That's like, I feel like I'm the one that's putting in all the yeah, effort. Yeah. I'd understand if you live five minutes down the road, you don't. You live six hours away, mm-hmm. and There's I went asking. Time. Yeah, and I went asking for him to change or asking for literal bare minimum. Just a couple of conversations. Yeah. Just a, it. you know, a reply every now and again, or speak to me, like, at least once a day mm. on the phone. Yeah. It was so. like that at the beginning, but then it just, it just, I don't know, I don't know what happened, it just fizzled out. It just fizzled out. Yeah. That is that is horrible, though, after what you had been through for so long, mm. and it just fizzling out. Like, did you actually say you loved him as well? Like, were you in love with each other, and did he say it back? And... Um, I never actually admitted that did to you? him. Yeah. 
But of course. But I, yeah, but I, you're gonna I, feel I, stronger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. I still do. Yeah, but it don't go away. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, like it's like still, I said, it's still he, sad. He did Jordan's podcast, and when I watched it back. Because I was like, oh, they're still together or not? Did yeah. he get it? He went, well, he didn't really say. Mm. I was like, I need to know if they're together. Like, yeah. I wanted them together. And the whole time, like, he had so many good things to say about you. Yeah. That's what I say, like, he's never said a bad yeah, word. Yeah, and I wouldn't say a bad word about him. Yeah. Because, you know, we were we were a team. Yeah. Like, and we were a strong fucking team as well. Oh, and the one of the best. Literally. And I thought, right, I'm happy. Mm. I've got I've got what I came for. Yeah. I don't, I don't need tick. Yeah, completed. don't need anything else. Yeah, and it's just, it's just sad. I think because of the distance, though, as well. He's very adamant, like that he wouldn't, he wouldn't move. And I thought, well, why am I putting all, all the effort, all mm-hmm. the eggs in, you know, in one basket? And I'm like, I just want a little bit of compromise. Oh, yeah, I weren't course, asking for him not, to yeah. change because that's not what I wanted. Yeah. If, you, if I'm asking for someone to change, then obviously we're not right for each other. But I just wanted a little bit of mm-hmm. back and forth. Mm. But it, it just seemed to it not never be there, yeah. no. Because the thing is, like, I obviously live, well, I did live five hours away from Jordan. Yeah. And in the past, I've I've been the girl. Yeah. That'll always make effort to go and see them. Yeah. I'll always be, oh, oh, can you come over this weekend? Yes, no problem, I'll drive three hours. Yeah. And I was that girl because I liked them. Yeah. And I just wanted them to, to like me. Yeah. And I wanted that relationship. Yeah, so I thought I'd make that effort mm. constantly. But then when I look back now, like, it has to be two ways. It's got to be two ways. And it can be two ways. Yeah. There's no excuse. No. We all, ev- loads of people live a busy life. Mm. Like, listen, everyone's got always got things going on. But it should be so even. And if you really want to do... Mm. He could have, Jay, 100% I know, he could have. I know, and when I look back now and I'm like, yeah. he did do the drive and he did come up all that God, way yeah, like yeah. for the first yeah. the first weekend or whatever that he came up. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, I felt like it was all very much more me and he you could, effort, he yeah. was just like, I could take it or leave it, not really that bothered, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I'm like, that's how I know that obviously you don't want, you don't want this, mm. but you've pushed me into a corner for me to do it so yeah. that you don't feel bad. Exactly. It's easier for them. Yeah, then. exactly. Because I've just watched that clip, you've just showed me that clip and that was the last, yeah, the last ever thing. Yeah. And he's sitting on the sofa and he can't, he can't say, can he? No. He can't say. No. What? It ne- why? He's never told me how he's felt. Still to this never. day. Still if, to this day, no. So he's never said to this day why. He he said, well, he said that I'll always have a place in his heart, but which I do believe. Yeah, and yeah. I do believe, and I know that he cares about me. Yeah, There's a yeah. difference, though. I, I think that he he cares me to love me as a person, mm. but not to be in love with me. Yeah. Now, how is it left with Luke? We're civil. Yeah. We're all right. I mean, I never speak badly about him. No. He was my rock throughout yeah. the whole journey. Yeah. And we were a really good team. It's just sad that it's not... It's ended the way that it has. Um, and but a lot of lessons learned, I bet. A lot of lessons A lot learned, of lessons. Yeah. And like you said, you'll always remain friends. Yeah, I'll you always remain friends. You were in an experience friends. nobody could ever imagine no. unless you were in it. Yeah. And it never ended on bad terms. No. So would you regret anything from that experience? No. Don't regret anything. Are you happy you did it? Yeah. I bet it's been just the best time. It really, do you know what? It really down. has. Yeah. It really has. But you were just saying before about everything that's going on now when mm. you're getting messages from yeah. people who've lost arms, legs. Yeah. Like, what has that been like? Because I bet that has opened so many mm. opportunities and doors for you as well to help people. Yeah. And being in the public eye like that as well. Yeah. Like, it's like... Nobody really sees that on reality TV anymore, like I ever, know. ever. I so I bet, it's mental. Like yeah. I'll be honest, like they are my favorite messages to get. Oh. And I've been sat there and I've been in floods of tears, yeah. like from like just reading people's stories and like what they've been through and like yeah. you don't know, you don't understand how inspirational you are. And I thought, me an inspiration? I'm not an inspiration. I'm from my kid. <laughs> but you like, are. Do you yeah. know? Like it, it's just I see myself as. Just you, everyone yeah. else. Yeah. You know, I don't see myself as any different. Yeah. Never have. Mm. But. Even like particular messages of um, I was talking to a girl and she's absolutely stunning. Yeah. And she she will never take her prosthetic off because she doesn't have the confidence. Did you message her back? Yeah. And I said, and she went, but now watching you, yeah, great. it kind of gives me the I yeah. want to, but I just don't have it in me. And I'm like, do it. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. Once you do it, the one. Yeah. And she's like, you, you know, you are gonna help so many people. And she's like, oh, it's just geez. so nice to see you on telly. Brilliant. 
listen if you can do one thing in your life with your platform it is helping people that's what and do you know is, what yeah. that's what i want to do like that i i get fulfillment out of helping other people yeah, yeah, before yeah. myself uh, i'll yeah. always put others before myself because that's just the way you the, are. that's yeah, just yeah. the way that i've been and brought up not, yeah am. obviously you've obviously got to protect yourself sometimes yeah but it's I'm not th- a bad thing yeah i mean it has stung me a yeah. couple of times in I'm the past. Same. yeah and i have same. learned lessons from being overly um, overly nice, yeah. Should you say? Yeah, um, but then it hurts when people aren't doing it back. Yeah, cause you're exactly. Because like, you're like, do I would do for anything you. for you, yeah. and it's like you wouldn't even open the fucking door for me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's it's a blessing, but it's a curse sometimes as well. Yeah. Um, but that's what I enjoy doing. I like making other people and smile. Listen, do and do like what makes you happy. If that happy. makes you happy, then then don't change. Yeah. Just stick oh, to who yeah. you are, yeah. I'm not changing for no one. No, absolutely nah. not. So you're helping people now. You've got this amazing platform. Mm. I've seen you. You are living your best life. <laughs> like looking at you on social media, you're at all these events. I have been invited you to are, quite a couple of events. Recently. You're out more than them bins. I, I can't you keep are up. Out. You can't, can't keep, keep up. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. No, fucking, I'm getting dolled up all the time. I'm like, yeah, and I don't have it in me, and I'm like, usually <laughs> I'm like, I'm in a tracky bottom, you know, my hoodie on, and yeah. I'm like. Petrol station, getting petrol, <laughs> yeah. you know, shoved up on top of head. I'm the same. And I'm like, I've got So to... what's been going on then since um, MAPS? So you've been, like, in all these events now. Yeah. Um, who, are you, who are you mixing with, Denise Welsh? Oh, yeah, I went to Denise Bloody Welsh's hell, uh, charity you? event. It, do you know what? It was really good. It was such a good night. Um, she's lovely as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd love to meet her. Yeah, she's lovely. Geordie girl, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. why I love her. Yeah. Has life been mental since maths? Does it feel crazy now? Yeah. Especially when people are recognising me and they're like, Can that's I have a weird, picture with it? you? Can I have a picture? I'm like Oh they shout your name and you and you think you know them. Yeah. And, and like, what? But people do talk to you like they know you. <laughs> yeah. Like personally. Like, are you not upset? Are you alright? Can I give you a hug? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. I'm like, oh It's just a bizarre thing, isn't it? Like I yeah. know exactly the way that you feel. So now I've heard a few things are going on. Mm-hmm. Got a few camera crews following you. Yeah. What the fuck? I know, what the what fuck? What is going on? So you've got ITV now. ITV, yeah. And what's happening with that? The, so they are coming up to my neck of the woods yeah. and having a, like, a little bit of an interview and just like asking questions about my upbringing and yeah, where yeah. it was that I went to school maybe and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and they are... Because I'm going to an event called the Inclusive Awards at the right. beginning of December. Yeah, is that a big one as well? A big it's event. a big one, yeah. And um, they've got me presenting an award, oh which she's like, yeah, which she's like, <gasps> fucking mental. You're a top but top. then I'm the I'm singing you got to do with a speech. Yeah. Oh, I don't man. even know, honestly, I don't even, I'm beside <laughs> myself. I don't know what's Listen, going you'll on. you smash it. We're, you've got the gift of the gab. Yeah. Get them seals techniques back I know, Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can't manage your head on. Yeah. Um, oh, good on you. Yeah, so Granada wanting to... Is, you know, well. like, now being in the public eye, do you feel like people treat you differently? You know, friends that used to be friends. Oh, I've had, yeah, I've had a couple of people be a bit, like, kiss-assy. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, why People come out the woodwork, that? don't they? Yeah. And that, that used to affect me a little bit because friends that, you know, I used to hang around with started dropping little words in. He's going, yeah. oh, yeah, TV, now you've got the camera crew full. Yeah, everywhere. no, yeah. It's got the local pub. Oh, God, there she is, yeah. the only show. Yeah. And it, I felt like people did change around us and my circle got a lot different mm. and a lot smaller. Yeah. Which is probably for the best because my friends are the friends that I've got now. Yeah, the of real course, ones. yeah. So the advice I give is, like, your friends now, like, your day ones keep them so oh, close. My, I'll always keep my dear ones. Yeah. Always. Always. Yeah. Always. Because you're always Keep grounded. Yeah. Keeps you grounded. Keeps you grounded and, and you're not in this and all that like, Yeah. And don't change. No. Nah. Never And change. I don't think you will. No. I don't think you will. It's, you know, it, yeah, it's a, it's a whirlwind and we're in yeah. this like yeah. completely different yeah. world of yeah. to what we knew before. Yeah. However... We're all people at the end of the day. Exactly. We're all normal. We've all got, all We've got, all the, got same the same shit yeah. going on. Do you yeah. know? It's, yeah. It doesn't make anybody better or any no. less. Do you no. know? It's just... Yeah. So now, have 
Yeah, are you seeing anyone? anyone? Am I shy at seeing anyone? Are you on the date? I am. <laughs> I am traumatised by the situation and my wand is my best friend at the moment. So that is going to stay that way. Love that. that. It is. Hey, listen, I work for love, honey. I've got loads of vibrators where you can have them. Get <laughs> some. I'm just getting the phone at us and Jordan keeps it. going, another vibrator. Yeah, yeah another vibrator. Yeah. Yeah, but... Gets you through life. So, what is, are you cast as divorced or not? Because I bet that people ask you that. It's not a real marriage, is it? No, it's not a real marriage. So you're it's not, not le- you're not legally married. No. You're not legally not married. Not legally married. So you're not a divorcee. No, and even though that I did put that up as my caption as a post the other day, yeah, but, yeah. the only reason why like that's for my personal growth. Yeah, yeah. And my dress was very similar to my wedding dress, but mm. it was black. Right. So I just thought it'd be. Yeah, but you're not technically. But like, I'm not saying. But I bet loads of people would ask you that. Oh, so you, are you a divorce? Well, not no, technically, not but you technically are, but divorced. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine how much money they'd have to pay out if everybody true. did get legally married and yeah. wanted legal divorces? Yeah, that is true. Do you know what I mean? Well, if you married someone rich, then you're laughing really, aren't you? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm <laughs> like, well, I don't want to get a divorce. So, out of maths, who is your favourite people? Who's your besties? My besties are Ella, Roz, and, Th- and uh, I've nearly said Thomas then. <laughs> like, you are one of the close ones, Thomas, Tom, but yeah. uh, Tasha. Tasha as yeah. well, yeah. They've all Call been around. the Spice Girls. We have a yeah. group chat. We speak every day. I feel like if I was on mass, they'd be mine as well. Yeah. I think they are all like, get on. yeah, they are like family to me now. And another question. If you're going a night out, can I come? Yeah, of course. 100%. Can I? Oh, yeah, you are. Trust me. But I, think me I think me and you would have a cracking time. I'd be concerned for me and you. I think we'd be too dangerous <laughs> together. I don't know if it would be <laughs> Egg each other <laughs> on. Yeah, people do say that about me. I get a bit too giddy. Yeah. Egg each other good on. Good on stuff, you, though. Good yeah. on you. You would have been great on Geordie Shaw. <laughs> you would have been brilliant on it. Got time for a game? Yeah. Yeah. Got time for right. a game. What is it again? What is this? Um, would you yeah, would you rather? Ooh. Right. Ooh. This is, this is, it's a shame we haven't got alcohol because alcohol's always fun when we're drunk. Well, you have got alcohol, it's there. I think we'll have a shot at the end. Will you have a tequila rose here with us? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. So, would you rather? Right. Would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? Uh, should we get Jake to pick them on me? Can we have that? Yeah. Do you want to ask me one now? I'll ask you one. Yeah, go on. I'll go first, Oh, gosh, yeah. Ready, Jay? <laughs> oh, that is, this is a bit of us question. Go on. Would you rather block the toilet out on a first date or first day at a new job? What would you rather block the toilet on? The first day or the first day at a new job? Oh. So obviously the first date. So th- the first date, the scenario is, right, um, you're on a date together. Yeah, it depends on what set it depends. I'm gonna put you in a really I'm gonna put yeah, you in yeah. a harsh one. So you're on a date together. Right. But he's booked a hotel room as well. Okay. So you're on a date, but he's like, oh we'll stay okay, in the hotel yeah, room. Yeah. So you you have to share this hotel room and it's one of them that's just got that tiny little door yeah, in the yeah, toilet. I know what you're on about. So you've blocked that one. And the new job yeah. is um you work in a hair salon and the the door oh, is like right no, next I, to the I've client. Got it in my head. Yeah, so you've got the door where the so the client's getting that blow dry, but oh. the door's there, and you can smell shit. Both of them, there's poo. Smell shit in both scenarios. Oh, Sophie, I don't know. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I would. Do you know what I would say? I'd say the hairdressers. Yeah. I would say the addresses because like, yeah, I know it's me. Mm. I apologise. Mm. I've just shat my pants, but I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that on a first date. No way. Yeah, nah. Did you Second have a, date, maybe. Did you yeah. have a pump in front of him or not? What in front of Lou? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got past that stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you get past that stage, when you get past that stage, you know that you're comfy. It's the best. I fought yeah. on Jordan's leg the day, in the morning as well. He went. He just pumped. I went. Oh, it's fine. We're right, we're fine. Right, enjoyed that one. Go right. On a good one. Yeah. I hope, I hope. Right, okay, so. <laughs> right, okay, so. I think I already know your answer for this one anyway, but <laughs> would you rather be really funny and stupid or boring but really clever? 
A funny and stupid. Exactly. Oh, funny that one, and yeah, stupid. Yeah, that one's like... Oh, I d- listen, you don't need brains to no. be successful these days. No, you don't. Do you know what I mean? Just personality wins. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I made a living from my personality. Yeah. Do and do I mean? you know what? Sometimes, the cleverer that you are, you, some people don't have the... Per- they don't have, like, the... Mm. social skills exactly you know, yeah exactly I'd, so, I'd rather be right okay me. so to finish off we are gonna have a celebratory celebratory is that the thing celebratory yeah anything goes in my vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> when you're a Geordie you know you get away with murder because whatever you say people just agree because they just think you're talking gibberish anyway <laughs> so right to the northern souls yeah Thank Northern you, Queens. Richie. You have been amazing on my oh, podcast. Thank you, Sophie, for Cheers. having me. I've loved it. Cheers to your future. Woo woo. Don't forget us when you're millionaire and rich and famous and mm. Mm. grand. Mm. Brilliant. Not a big one, that. Right, thank everyone. You. There you go. That is the end of the podcast. <laughs> Where you been? I think I'm not. I'm like Charlotte Killers, but I think one of my favourites. Really? <laughs> So far, one of my favourites. Thanks, Really Sophie. enjoyed that. But yes, thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure that you like, give a comment, just share it to everyone. Yeah. Your friends, your family, your aunts, your brothers, sisters, cats, dogs, <laughs> hamsters. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure that you look out for the next one. And remember, what happens in a mass stays a mast. Mm-hmm.